And now we're going to see how two neurons connect and how they transport the signal from one to another and so on. Now if you can remember, I have drawn a nervous cell, let's say, with its uh, a body, okay? And we had a nucleus here. We had the small extensions called the dendrites. Okay, those were the dendrites. And we had way longer axon with the axon terminal at the end. Now, another cell has its axon right here. Okay, there was a cell over there, and its axon is coming and it connects with the dendrite of the first cell. So the signal is being transported through the axon of one neuron, then transported onto another neuron, more precisely on its dendrites, and then transported further and then to the axon of the second neuron. Now those places over here, those connections between axons and neurons are called the synapses. And I have drawn that more in details to show you how it looks like and how it functions. So first we had an axon of one neuron. Then there was a dendrite of another neuron. Imagine if we split the cells in the middle just to see the, uh, what's inside. Uh, here, this over here was the axon terminal. Okay, and this over here was a dendrite. So the signal goes through the axon terminal and is being transported somehow here onto the dendrite and then transported further. Now this is done with the help of vesicles that can be found in the axon terminal. And those vesicles contain the substances called the neurotransmitters and they can fuse with the membrane as you can see here and here. And as they fuse they release the neurotransmitter into the synaptic cleft. So this over here was the neurotransmitter. Okay. And this space over here between the axon terminal and dendrite is the synaptic cleft. On a dendrite there are special receptors that receive these molecules and that way the signal is being transported onto dendrite and it goes further. In the axon and dendrite terminal you can very often find the mitochondria which is supposed to produce the energy for the cell. Now how is this all done and what really triggers all this? Um, you should first learn about the action potential from physiology books in order to understand what truly happens here. But in short I will just explain you that the electrical potentials inside and outside a cell are different. So inside of cell you have minus charge and outside of the cell you have plus charge. So those are usually built up because the inside there are more negatively charged ions than on the outside. Outside are usually positively charged ions. Now as I said before the action potential which I did not explain in details because that's not anatomy subject it's more physiology it travels through the cell okay and as it travels through the axon it depolarizes it so when it reaches the axon terminal it depolarizes it and that allows positively charged ions from the cell outside to diffuse inside of the cell and the calcium ions trigger the fusion of vesicles with the membrane and that way the neurotransmitter is being released inside of synaptic cleft. Thank you for watching this video. Please check out my website flashbrainanatomy.com.